What's up? Welcome back to another episode of Young Gun Disc Golf. I'm TJ Rodriguez, and I know I was I said I was gonna do a redo videos, um, just like a couple redo videos for the month of February. I kind of changed that up a bit. Maybe I'm gonna move that to March. I still don't know. But for now, I want to do like a little video series of me telling you what your go-to driver should be, what your go-to mid-range should be, and what your go-to putter should be. I'm not suggesting any disc to you guys. I'm just saying how they should feel to you and why they should be your go-tos in the in the first place. So the first video I'm gonna start off with is the distance drivers. I'm not gonna do fairway drivers because there's not really you know a category for that. I'm gonna mix distance drivers and fairway drivers in just one video. So um, this is just gonna be for the drivers in general. Um, I'm just gonna st I'm just gonna get out my whole stack of drivers here. I got a pretty big stack. Uh, let's see, how many do I got? Three, six, nine, I, I, I got like 11 uh, drivers here, and I do definitely for now have a go-to. I'll give you guys my example. My go-to driver for right now is a Pro Starfire, uh, or AKA an SL, depending on um, how you like to call it. But your go-to driver should be a disc that you can take out of your bag with pure confidence. If it's going to fail, it's not going to fail as big as any other disc you take out of your bag. Like for instance, if if I'm throwing a Pro Starfire and I want to throw a hyzer with it and it messes up, chances are if I were to throw another disc the same way, it might mess up the same. Um, it's it won't happen all the time, but you know a lot of times it it will. So your go-to driver should definitely be the disc that you can take out of your bag with the least amount of thought and the least amount of effort that you got to throw it with. The one that fits best in your hand helps too, and the one that, uh, geez, I'm losing words right now, but the one, but the one you can walk up to the tee pad and feel absolutely 100% confident that you know it's going to do what you want it to do. Um, there's going to, also, if you're, if you're going to have a, um, a disc in your bag that you call go-to, you got to have multiples of them. You can't just have one disc and call it your go-to uh, distance driver because, you know, it won't have the same characteristics all the time you gotta have multiple ones like for instance I got like four rocks in the bag which I can pretty much utilize however I need to that's my go-to mid-range but I'll get to that when I get to the mid-range video um, you you know it could also be a uh, it could also be an overstable driver or an understable driver whichever you choose whichever you feel throws the best for you uh, this probably is the next up in my category, the Surge. I really like it. It's not my go-to. I have to think about it whenever I get it out of the bag. You know, it takes some thought and some, you know, and some mental game to just take a disc out of your bag if it's not your go-to and you would use it how you want to use it. Uh, for fairway drivers, it's pretty much the same thing. It's definitely, they're, ne they're definitely not going to be your go-to, you know, farthest drivers for sure. I got three T-Birds. These are my go-to fairway drivers because I can do with whatever to them. This one I can roll easy. It's completely understable. It's hyzer flip. This one just pretty much goes straight. A little bit of t or a little bit of turn, a little bit of fade, and then this one is my headwind one, headwind T-Bird. The reason why T-Bird is my go-to driver or fairway driver is because it's the most controllable. It's the one that fits best in my hand, and it's the one that flies the best for me. That's that's easily what your go-to distance driver should be, is the one that you can control the best, the one that feels or the one that fits best in your hand, and the one that you know you you just you could take out of your bag without any mental game whatsoever. You could just take it out and you know what you're going to do with it automatically. You know it's like repetition. You you throw a disc so so much and you don't really you know think what's going on. You just know it's going to do what you want to what you want it to do. You know, it. You know, even if it hits a tree, it, you could still, um, you could still expect it to do the same afterwards. If it's not DX, of course. Uh, for instance, like this one, I got for the purpose of breaking in. But uh, I don't know if I've left anything out. Just your go-to distance drive or your go-to driver should definitely just be. I, I I'm saying this tons, but one that fits best in your hand, one that flies the best, and uh, that's about it. Oh, you know, you could you could say that the farthest flying disc in your bag is your go-to distance driver if you want, but that's only if you use it all the time. 
You know, you can't just say, like, for instance, I got a destroyer in the bag that's just, like, for pure distance. I got a second one for backup and for other sort of shots. But um, I just can't say this is my go-to driver because I don't use it often enough. Your go-to driver should definitely be the one that you have to use the most often. Uh, you know, for instance, if you say that the best flying disc in your bag is something, let's say, like an ape, and you only throw it like once around, that can't be your go-to distance driver, at least in my opinion, because it, it really, you, you don't use it enough for it to be your go-to. So um, that's about it though, for me anyways. Uh, I hope I've given, you know, a great little, or not great, but an okay sort of rendition of my thoughts of what your go-to distance driver should be. I don't even, you know, I just do these videos for fun, and uh, I hope I gave, you know, my best thoughts on it. And um, if you guys have any questions, you know, just email me. Uh, I'll put my email in the link. Uh, also, uh, I'll also be doing other videos, what your go-to mid-range should be, and also what your go-to um, putter should be. Uh, put in the comments what you guys' go-to distance driver is. I, I'd, be, I'd be really interested. Um, also put your go-to fairway driver if you want, or if they're the same, or whatever. One thing I forgot to mention though, if your go-to fairway driver is your go-to driver in general, then you don't, you know, it's your go-to driver. You, you can't really argue with that. It, it, some people like to sep or separate them into different categories and some people don't. Some people, you know, like most pros, like let's say, let's take an innova player for for example. Some, one, yeah, some players may have three T-Birds in their bag and they might tell you it's their go-to driver. Even out of their destroyers and rates and all that other stuff they throw. So, um, like I said, I hope I gave my best rendition on it. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure to hit that sub button if you want to see more disc golf videos. And um, check out other channels, too. Uh, totally Epic Disc Golf, Tom and Evan Disc Golf, The Boss Disc Golfer, The Disc Golf Kid, Junior Disc Golf. There's tons of channels you can look, back, you can look at. And also, Average Junior. Freaking Junior from um, Goham Disc Golf, he's back, and it's crazy. It's amazing. You know, I've been hoping that they'd make videos again. Big John isn't there, but having Junior here is still an amazing, you know, thing to have on YouTube. So um, make sure to go check him out too, because he's got good quality videos as well. I only, I can only dream of you know getting to that point. Uh, other than that, though, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to hit that like button, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.